Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can make signed abk or .aab file that ready to publish of your Flutter application. So let's get started with the new project. I'm going to create it. Hello underscore world Flutter. All right. Now the project is created. I'm going to open that using VS Code. Here we have that. Okay. Now we are in the project and uh, here we have main dot dot. Now if we want to preview this, we can run it. Or in the terminal, we can say flutter run. Currently I don't have any simulator, emulator running. So we can choose Google Chrome or this time run. I'll go for Chrome. So the application will be started using Chrome. Okay, this is my application. Now I want to build a signed APK. For that, we can open the Android Studio. Click open. Go to the folder where your project is located. This one. Inside that folder, you will see this Android folder. Open that. Then click open trust project all right now this will take some time uh, to finalize the project but if it asks you to upgrade gradle or something don't do that just avoid doing those things just let the android studio to finish the setup you may have to wait some time all right Actually, it took some time. All right. Before we are going to build the signed APK, I'm going to change the application name. In the app folder, make sure this Android is selected here. We have manifest. And go to Android manifest.xml. And here, you can change the application name. Currently, the application name is hello underscore world underscore father. Now, my application name has changed to Hello world. Okay, the next step is change in the application ID or the package name. For that, you can go to Gradle scripts and here you will see this build.gradle module version. Click it and make sure it is like this. And if you scroll to the bottom, you will see this application ID is equals to com.example.your application name. Now you can enter your desired package name. Uh, in my case, com.ashinishankal and the application name as hello world. Okay, now we can click sync now. All right, now we can run the application. Currently, I don't have any emulator running, so we can click this run buttons. So it is going to start. If you don't have any emulator, you can go ahead and create the one. Uh, you can go to tools and device manager and you can click this at the new device button create a new virtual device here you can select the device type and the OS image and go ahead and create it okay let's switch back to the device we can click this running device button. Okay, this is our application and it is running. All right, now let me go ahead and show you the app here, hello world. There you go, the application name has changed. Also, I think the application ID got changed. And the next step, we can change this icon to change that. We can uh, go to this app folder in the rest. You have to right click on that, click new and select image access. Now, if you want to use a custom image, you can uh, select the image here in the foreground layer and select the image from here. Now go to the folder where your image is located, click open. Okay, now I'm going to change the background layer 
to a color. Now the green uh, outline has gone. Now we can finish it. Okay. Now we can run the application again. Okay. You can see the icon has changed. Now we are going to build the APK. We can stop the running process and I'm going to kill the device also. Now I'm going to uh, click build generate sign AP app bundle or APK. To create the sign APK we can go for APK or for the app bundle dot AAB file. You can see that this was done Android app bundle. Okay, let's go for the APK. Now we have to create the uh, key store. If you are having one, you can choose it. I'm going to create a new one. Key store path. You can uh, click on this folder icon. Now you are going to go to the folder where you are going to store your key store file and make sure you are keeping a backup of that file maybe in Google Drive or somewhere else because when you want to publish another update to your application uh, to Google Play, you must uh, provide that key stop file including these uh, credentials like passwords and alias. Okay, now we can use the key store file name as maybe your developer name without spaces. Let's see, coffee program. Okay, it will be saved in my downloads folder. And we are going to provide a password for that key store file. Let's say uh, my password will be 1234567812345678. 1234567812345678. Okay. And the alias. So this could be your name or something. Let's say alias will be coffee program. And the password for this key will be. I'm going to use the same as this key store password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, how many years this key store will go into valid? I'm going to provide as 100 years. I'm not sure. Okay, now you can provide your name and the organizational unit. I don't know, maybe uh, my channel name and the organization also. Let's see. Yeah, here for the organization unit, I'm going to say YouTube and organization. Of a program and the city goal and the province or state I'm going to write my province and the country code you can uh, search Google for your country code for example Sri Lanka country code is 94 click OK now uh, make sure you have uh, stored these credentials somewhere for the key store this will be the alias remember those otherwise you are not able to publish an update. Make sure you have stored this password somewhere else. Also the alias. Okay, click next. Now we are going to create the release. Click create. Now the APK being created. For the .aab, we had to follow the same thing we done. I will show you. Okay. We got the alert that mentioning our APK has created. Now, uh, where we can find that APK? We can right click on this app folder and click open in Finder or File Explorer. Now go to app folder and release. And here you go. This is the APK file. And it is about uh, near 19 megabytes. Here, let me go for .aab file. We can go for generate sign app bundle apk on this build click android app bundle click next and next and create okay you can click on this uh, locate button where it will locate you to the folder where your AAB file is stored. Alright, that's how you can create a signed APK or signed AAB file that you will able to upload to the Google Play Publish dashboard.
थैंक यू वेरी मच